how to position your cleaning company to get higher prices. I ran a carpet, tile, and area rug cleaning company for 22 years where we were the most well-known, one of the highest priced cleaning companies in the area. Here I am actually with Howard Partridge back in about 2005 in the front of my cleaning shop. Now what I'm going to do in this video is give you 12 ways that you can get higher prices in your cleaning company. These are things that I did and things that I've seen the highest price cleaning companies all across the United States, Canada, UK, and even Australia do. So the first thing that I recommend that you do is define your position in the marketing place. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it, you need to get really, really in detail with with what marketing is or even what positioning is. There is a book that I'd recommend called Positioning, The Battle for Your Mind. This is the very first book that I ever read in advertising school. Pretty short read. Basically, you need to figure out where you're wanting to be in the minds of your prospect. That's what this is really all about. Where do you want your clients to think of you? Do you want to be thought of as a high-end cleaning company? Do you want to be thought of as the pet specialty company? Do you want to be thought of as the environmentally friendly company? You need to find what that market position is and then make sure that everything else that you do in your company reflects that. So that's what we're really going to talk about in this video. So number one, define your market position. Number two, make sure that your marketing systems reflect that position. If you're going to be the highest end cleaning company, you need to make sure that you're not doing low end marketing. And a lot of times that's things like spamming Facebook groups and sometimes even Facebook ads, believe it or not, especially if it's a low ball offer, that could be a bad thing. And again, it depends on how you do it, but there's a lot of marketing. We won't really get into the specifics of media and specific marketing here in this video, but you just need to pay attention to making sure that you're not using marketing that's making your company look bad. No, no low ball coupons and things like that. There are ways to do offers, by the way, where you can still be a high end company and still give stuff away. I did it all the time and a lot of highest end companies that I know of do that. But I may put the link below this video for this marketing plan, but pay attention to that. Number three, your website. Your website doesn't have to be the most beautiful website in the world, but it should reflect your marketing position. It should show who you are, why you're different. It should show pictures of you, your your maybe your equipment, maybe your technicians, but it should explain your marketing position and it should really give reasons why you're a higher priced cleaning company. You really, you need to have three, four, five reasons already in your back pocket for why you deserve the higher prices that you charge. You need to be able to answer the question when a client asks you, why do you charge such high prices? Your website needs to answer that and you need to be able to answer that. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. But number four, you need to have good reviews. A higher end cleaning company has good reviews and reviews mean quite a bit. So work on getting reviews, get more reviews. Number five, you need to have guarantees. We won't talk specifically about what you should say for your guarantee, but you need to have strong guarantees in place that set your prospective client at ease before they ever hire you. Have those all over your website, all over everything that you do. That needs to be part of your marketing position and uh, you need to have guarantees for your cleaning company. Number six, phone procedures and phone scripts. You need to have a script already laid out for what you're going to say to your prospects when they call. And everybody that answers the phone needs to follow that script. Now, we used to have a policy in my cleaning company that we never gave a price. And I recommend if you're a higher or highest price cleaning company, you do the same. You never give a price until you explain what you do that's different from other cleaning companies. Do that before you ever give a price and you're going to be able to differentiate yourself away from your competition. Now, this is a script that we've got in the ad coaching club, but I recommend that you write a script and you follow that script that explains why you're different. Uh, number seven, company vehicles. Yes, you need to have nicely lettered vehicles. Ideally, a logo, phone number, maybe a full wrap, but you don't have to spend five thousand dollars. At least a logo, at least a phone number. Make sure that your company, that your vehicle reflects your company image. Which, if it's a higher cleaning company, in cleaning company, it doesn't have to be a brand new cleaning vehicle, but it should look clean. It should look logoed. It should look nice. It should look 
presentable. Number eight, uniforms. Yes, a logoed shirt is ideal. Maybe a hat if you wear hats, if that's permissible you know, for what you do in your company. doesn't have to be a polo shirt. Maybe it could be a t-shirt, but something with a logo on it to set you apart is really required for a hiring cleaning company. Clean equipment. You don't have to have brand new equipment. You don't even have to have the best equipment, although it can help, but it should be clean. It should be in good shape. Your clients are going to look in your van. They're going to look in your vehicle. Also, do the bottles of spot remover that you carry in in a caddy or whatever that may be. The caddy needs to be clean. The bottles clean. The bottles labeled, maybe professionally labeled. All of this is part of that image. It's all part of that position. It's all part of your brand. Make sure that you're doing that and make sure that you're doing it well. Now, once you actually do get inside of the client's home, number 10 is having a good in-home pre-inspection phone script, actually in-home script. So you have a phone script, but also a script to talk to your clients once you get there. This is usually a script for an in-home estimate is given, maybe a script right before the cleaning, but your your employees need to know, everybody needs to know exactly what to say, how to talk to the client, the first things that you ask them to collect information, explaining your cleaning process to them, and also too, how to answer questions when areas of concern come up, when certain things happen, what do you do when nobody 18 or over is home? What do you do if the client's upset? What do you do if something breaks? There needs to be policies for that. There needs to be scripts for that. That's what a higher and cleaning company is going to do. And number 11, company literature. This is super important because Joe Blow, the cheap guy who is barely affording his payment for, I don't know, his chemical bill for the month. He doesn't come in with a nice tri-folded brochure that explains how to care for your carpet and rugs. He doesn't come in with a nice brochure that explains all the different services that he does. If you're a higher-end cleaning company, when you do this type of stuff, you're going to set yourself apart. So I'd recommend that you do that. Have some nice brochures ready to go uh, for maybe each of your services or at least one of your services and, and talk about what it is that you do inside of those brochures. And number 12, this is where a lot of companies fall short, but client communication. After the job, you want to continue to uplift your brand, to reiterate your brand, where you're at, and to remind them that you're even still around. Spring's a great time to do that with uh, different postcards. Email newsletters are important too, but I would recommend the, the three really. Email newsletters, text messages, and postcards. Postcards maybe two or three times a year at least. I'd probably recommend every every other month. Uh, emails, at least once a month. Text messages, maybe every three or four months. Just something to let them know that you're still there, but to something to educate them, which helps to build up your brand about why they should get you back inside of the home, but also, too, to put your company image and your logo behind behind your company and to put that in front of them. So this is everything we've talked about here, stuff that we've got available inside of the Ad Coaching Club to help you brand your company, to help you position your company is something that's super, super important that I have a very strong heart for helping you be able to do. As well, I do also have some openings for one-on-one coaching. If you're wanting to work on branding your company, if you're wanting to work on your internet marketing presence, getting ranked on Google, Google ads, all of that. I've got some openings for one-on-one coaching. I'll put the link below this video. If you have any questions at all, shoot me an email or give me a call. I'd love to talk to you.